Hi everyone, I got on Grubhub finally. And stick around and I'll tell you what it's like to use it. Well, hello everyone, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for food delivery companies. And today I'm so excited, I finally got on Grubhub and I'm gonna start delivering and see what kind of orders I get. I'm not gonna give you all the insight that I have from using other food delivery apps. I just wanna see how it is using Grubhub. So let's get started and see what orders we get. Now as a disclaimer, I am gonna be also doing Instacart and Uber Eats if Grubhub is slow. But if I leave it on and it's busy all day, I'll stick with it. Here we go. Ready to deliver. It is pretty exciting to be able to deliver for Grubhub. Previously, I've heard other drivers that do it saying, oh, you know, you have to schedule yourself and the orders are far and few between, but I've heard they're higher paying. So I'm excited to find out for myself. All right, good morning. I've delivered a couple uh, Uber Eats and Instacart orders. And now I'm gonna get on Grubhub and see if I can get an order. I had already accepted the Instacart order when a one came in for Grubhub, so this will be my first. Let's go ahead and say we're ready to deliver. And see what happens. Accept offer. Alrighty, let's go. So far it seems pretty intuitive to use. I picked up an order from a Thai restaurant and then as I was walking to my car, I got an offer for a second order. So it's like a stacked order, double order. All right, let's go deliver this food. Hi. Good morning. I've got the uh, Grubhub order for Hyacinth. So I just leave it at the front. Awesome, thank you, have a great All right, that drop off seemed to go pretty smooth. I took screenshots of every step and I saw there's a spot where you can text the customer that you've arrived and I'll be curious to see later if I can incorporate my text message I usually send to food deliver on food deliveries to the customer and basically say the same thing but insert Grubhub. So let's go pick up the second order. I do see it's not easy to stop the orders while I'm on an order. It just gives you the option to accept or decline. So I'll have to figure that out later. All right, let's get to this other restaurant. We're headed there now. Overall, the experience is pretty good with Grubhub. The things that I need to figure out are how to uh, change my map so I can use Waze instead of the default setting, which for me is uh, the Apple Maps. And then also I need to figure out how, if I can, text the customer a picture. So far it just looks like I can only send them messages. So I'll have to check that out while I'm on break and get back with you soon, making some more money. All right, bye. Good afternoon. I did two orders on Grubhub and I went back in the app and I used that three bar, the hamburger menu to go into the account settings and I was able to change the navigation to Waze, which is what I prefer. And I updated the notification settings. I took off some of the things that I don't want to see. So let's get back on the road and see if we get any more orders. Hey there, I'm giving my car a well-deserved bath. And I wanted to mention on Grubhub, I don't recall noticing a mileage estimate for the order that I accept. So I'll have to pay attention to that in the future. But I'm thinking they don't give you that information. Oh, I'm learning all sorts of things. So if you're in the menu, you just touch up there in the corner. First, I can't do it with the camera. And then it says, this is where the new offers would be. I was quite intrigued by the sound that Grubhub uses to announce a new offer. It sounds like a cowbell. Ding, 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 come get your food. You know, am I a farm animal or a pet? Is it time to go out and get the customer their food? I'm surprised at the choice of the sound that Grubhub uses. Oh, look, you just push right there. Taco Bell, 11.57, I'm accepting. <laughs> I 
All right, for my first day of Grubhub, I am very excited. I had $27.81 in earnings, which you can see on the screen there. I'll put it up. And delivery pay was $15.81, tips $12.00. The Grubhub contribution that says updated at the end of the day, I don't know what that's about, so I guess I'll see. I am in California, so that could be Prop 22 pay, but I'm not sure. So please let me know in the comments, people from other states, what is this pay, this contribution? And then my acceptance rate was 60%. Overall, I'm very happy with Grubhub. I did three orders today, and that's just because that's what was available. So I think this app would be great. Um, any beginner should be able to easily figure it out. I do look forward to continuing to use Grubhub and make a lot of money with it. I'm definitely going to be multi-apping, doing Uber Eats, Grubhub, Instacart, uh, Curio. I'm on there, but most of the orders, I think, are in L.A., and also Corner Shop from Uber. I haven't had a chance yet to try that out, but I think I'll drive to an area where it is available. All right, please share in the comments below. What tips do you have uh, for me being a new Grubhub driver? What am I missing? And I look forward to the conversation. Until I see you in my next video, bye.